It's the central African country where Catholics make up around half of the population. And here in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, it's been 37 years since a papal visit. It's expected Pope Francis will speak on some of the country's issues in particular. Political strife, poverty and especially unity. The message I expect from the Pope is a message of peace because lately the DRC is tormented. Given the situation in the country, we dare to believe that the Pope will bring us a good message and with lasting peace. Plagued by violence for three decades, the eastern province of North Kivu has seen a resurgence of fighting between the M23 rebel group and the Congolese army, in a conflict displacing nearly half a million people. Whilst the head of the Catholic Church is no longer due to visit the province for security reasons, he will meet with victims of the violence, civil authorities and local ministers in Kinshasa. And it's expected he'll focus his trip on the suffering in the east. This trip of the Holy Father is also a way to turn on the spotlight on the situation in Congo, to say to the world that we cannot somehow forget, we cannot neglect that there is an ongoing humanitarian drama which is going on here. The second leg of the papal visit will take the pontiff to South Sudan, the world's youngest country, at the end of the week.